That's nice and easy. All right. We just hit sixty percent. I'm gonna throw it. I don't even know what I'm throwing. I don't think I was throwing my handy dandy whatever. Jesus Christ! Hey, I got a challenge. Cool. Oh, whatever. Um, let me get what I want back. Eighty percent. Thank you. Yep. Hold position. Alright, toss. I didn't want to toss too many. That was an accident. I can't really get there un unscathed, I don't think. I'll try. You're right. That's why I am EMP grenading. I'm not EMP grenading. Actually, I am EMP grenading. Stay still, please. Thank you. Good grief. Pull out what I want. There we go. All clear on this end. I can't say the same. Someone's locked a trace onto my download. I can't cut it. And if they find me, my cover's blown and so is Sarah's. Where's it coming from? Looks like inside white box. First floor. Blueprints show a large space. Probably a test lab. Right, I went through it. They store their test EMP there. You might have to use it. Do whatever it takes, but cut that trace. All right, we'll do. Oh, well, that was a semi-successful mission so far. <laughs> I say semi because it was very poor execution on my end, but I'm not complaining. And I was wondering how I got to that pipe. And I was wondering how Fisher could be so stupid and not do what I want him to. Um, okay. Vic, I'm inside White Box and I need a hand. This should be good. It is. I may need to set off an EMP inside the site in order to kill a trace. How tight is this place's exterior shielding? Tighter than a drill sergeant's asshole. Everything electronic inside would be fried. Outside, not a peep. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. Okay. Well, sorry my, uh, my ear was very itchy. I had to scratch. I had to scratch. Oh wow, this place is very uh, EMP friendly, or not friendly, but at least I'm pretty sure this is EMP proof or blast proof or something, I don't know. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Alright, well I'm obviously caught. I'm gonna die? No, I don't think so. I'll just climb like I normally do. Unless I had motion sensors, then, you know. Alright, I also have a whole bunch of executions, so... Let's just do that, do that, do that, and that. Sweet, another challenge. I'm getting these challenges like there's no tomorrow. Who knows, there might not be. Um... Ah, I need to jump. No, don't crouch run. Alright, well, let's see if I can get right back on that pipe. Probably gonna be searching the pipes now. Maybe. If they're smart, they will. Oh wow, there's more people. Can I not kill these people? Closing in on the contact. Requesting backup at my location. God damn it! Eh, no jump. Oh, come! I thought I killed him. Wow. Okay. Oh man, I'm having the dumbest deaths. This is ridiculous. I just want to finish a stupid game. Or level, not game. Although I do want to finish the game. Um, alright. 
let's uh, let's rinse and repeat here. He sure can cling to uh, to things from very far distances. I'm also gonna wait for these four guys to come back and wait for my controller to stop moving. One, two, uh, three, and quattro. Come on, we need to find this bastard and kill him. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Hey, I got another challenge. I don't know if that was the same one or not, but I just got it. Let's see. Can I get near these guys? Wait. There was a fourth guy somewhere, I just don't know where. Is it because the gas leak is a monument? Sometimes I'm pretty sure those guys are dead. The hard way. Pretty sure. Well, at least Sam's not afraid to take a fall. Well, that went well. Oh, okay. Well, let's just detonate this. <laughs> wow, that sucks. That really sucks, actually. Oh. Well, he's dead. <laughs> That's a horrible way to die, I bet. I mean, I wouldn't know. Okay, now, okay, whoops, 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 whoops. Let's go back. Um, tactic number one, climb pipes and try and outrun or outsmart everyone. I wonder if I can just slip by everybody. I don't know how many people are guarding the door, but let's see how far I can get. Not very far. Alright, let's see if I can just make a run for it. Nope, I can't because there's people Fuck. outside, of course. I think I'm done here, Grim. Maybe I'll go look for this the Galliard everyone's talking search. about. Who's Galliard? Hey, you know him. yeah, that guy knows. Not directly, but let me get or does he? Us. Never mind, he doesn't. I was going to say, check your corner. In the meantime, he obviously we'll didn't check them very well. There's that guy. I'm gonna see if I can just let him go, honestly. Don't check your corners. Don't be the one dude that's actually smart. What an idiot. And I'm pretty sure this street is going to be filled with people. No, it's not, okay. At least so far it isn't. Well, that was easy. Man, these guards, they need to hire some new people. They really need to hire some new people. How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders so from the president got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. Man, they sure are a fan of that little sweep or whatever. Now. The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. And what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. 
All right, well, uh, that sounds all fun and dandy, but I think I'm gonna cut it off here. I know, I've been limiting myself to one mission at a time. What if I can go through this? I can't even go through this. How did he get through? I mean, I obviously have, okay, maybe I don't have guns on me. Although I really wouldn't know, because Sam's pockets are probably limitless. But uh, for the time being, I don't have guns, but I will keep that in mind next time. Um, and if I do end up pulling a gun without taking it, then how did he get through the freaking metal detector? Would be my question. But uh, next time we will reach those camera controls and uh, interrogate, I think it's, I think we actually interrogate the president in this game, which I don't know who Mr. President in this game is, but uh, right now we don't need to know that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, uh, say stuff about the games, about the channel, improvement, whatever, and shadows, and whatever. Uh, share it, favorite it if you feel the need to. If you look forward to more Splinter Cell or any more content on my channel in the future, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There will be plenty more in the future, so I will see you guys later.